live a healthy, vital, energetic life well past the age of 100. How close are we? Well, science is close to giving a second century of life to everyone through everything from radical cutting-edge technology to simple changes in how you eat. And Dr. Mehmet Oz, the Oprah Show health expert, is going to be doing a full episode with her on this revolutionary topic tomorrow. But he sat with us right here and is giving us a sneak peek. It's a little known fact that Dr. Mehmet Oz is actually 180 years old, <laughs> but he is here today to tell us that. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Okay, let's get started. Are you saying we're actually looking at the possibility that 99 is the new 50? It is a true, and in fact, what we're really talking about is this whole concept of extreme longevity. Okay, what do we know for sure today that we can do? Well, first of all, we know there's a chemical called sirtuin that tells the body to live longer. So what's the best mechanism? It turns out that if you take rodents and you cut down their caloric intake, it's called calorie restriction, by a third, they'll live a third longer. Imagine that. And humans who are doing calorie restriction, when they're studied, show re a, a rejuvenation of their arteries, of their hearts. They actually begin to behave like they're younger than they really are. Okay, talk to us calories then. What does that mean to cut for a human? <laughs> how many calories can you have a day and how many should you cut back? Well, most of us can't cut a third of our calories. That's impossible. But the good news is that you can cut 15% of your calories out and you can still get most of the benefits. So, we're By cutting 15% a day down to 1,700 a day, I could live, we think, an, an extra 30 years or so. But that same chemical sirtuin mm -hmm. can be turned on with other mechanisms. And one yes. of them is one you, you're going to want to hear about. A lot of folks know that red wine has been purported to be good for you. Well, right. it turns out that red wine is red because of a chemical in it called resveratrol. And so one of the ways we think red wines benefit health is by turning on that same anti-aging chemical. Oh, really? But how much? Because we keep hearing the conflicting studies that if you drink Seven, what, more than seven, eight, nine, ten glasses of wine a week, you're at increased risk for some cancers, women especially. Well, for, for women, I would not drink more than a glass of wine or any alcohol a day. Uh, and, and for men, you can get a little bit more than that. Okay. In the near future, big breakthroughs in living longer. So the big deal for me is to move even beyond things you can do for yourself. 